everyone, I'm Tara with Kutek, here with another cake baking and decorating tutorial to share with you. Today, we're going to make a dark chocolate cake with strawberry buttercream. We'll layer decadent chocolate sponges with naturally flavored strawberry buttercream and fresh berries, and top the cake with a few different elements. This is a great project for an intermediate to advanced baker. We'll cover a few techniques, including making Swiss meringue buttercream and achieving a chocolate drip effect around the top edge of the cake. But first, let's start with making the cake. Preheat the oven and place the rack in the center position. For best results, prepare the pan so that the cakes won't stick after baking. Grease two eight inch cake pans with butter. Line each pan with a parchment paper round and then lightly dust each pan with flour Whisk flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, baking powder, and salt together in a large bowl. Whisk sugar, buttermilk, vegetable oil, eggs, and vanilla together in a separate large bowl. Slowly whisk the buttermilk mixture into the flour mixture until just combined. Add the coffee and mix until combined. Now, we'll bake the cakes. Divide the batter between both prepared pans and place them on the center rack of the oven. Bake the cakes until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean, which should take about 25 minutes. Let the cakes cool for 10 minutes and then carefully invert the cakes onto wire racks and let them cool completely. Be sure that the cakes are fully cool to the touch before starting to ice or decorate them. While our cakes are cooling, we'll make the strawberry Swiss buttercream. To make fluffy, creamy buttercream frosting, always start with room temperature ingredients. First, add egg whites and sugar to a mixing bowl. Then place the bowl over simmering water, whisking frequently until the mixture reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit, which should take between five to eight minutes. Transfer the bowl to a stand mixer fitted with a whisk attachment. Whip on medium high speed until stiff peaks form and reach room temperature about 17 to 20 minutes. While the mixer is running, add butter, one tablespoon at a time, until a thick and fluffy buttercream forms. Add the freeze-dried strawberries, salt and vanilla, and beat until combined. Mix in red food coloring, adjusting the shade as desired. Start with just a few drops and add slowly from there. Now that the cakes have cooled, let's prepare them for icing and decorating. First, create a flat cake surface using a cake level. This tool creates a smooth, even surface by removing the small crown that some cakes develop while baking. To use it, adjust the wires on each side of the level. Simply bend the wires to reposition along the notches. In this case, create a narrow line to remove about a quarter of an inch from the top of the cake. Use the cake leveler to cut the cake layers in half. Let's frost and decorate the cake. Using an offset or straight spatula, spread roughly half to one cup of buttercream evenly over the first cake, spreading it right to the edges. Press roughly one cup of strawberries into the frosting. Repeat layering the cakes, frosting and strawberries, finishing with the fourth layer of cake. Using an offset or straight spatula, spread a thin layer of buttercream on the top and sides of the cake. This is called the crumb coat, which will help the second layer of frosting look clean and smooth. Refrigerate the cake for at least 30 minutes until the buttercream is set. Once the buttercream is set, using an offset or straight spatula, spread a second layer of buttercream on the top and sides of the cake. Smooth the sides of the cake by holding the spatula or an icing smoother upright against the cake and turning the turntable. Meanwhile, let's work on the melted chocolate for the drip effect. First, place the chocolate chips in a medium heat-proof bowl. Heat the heavy cream until simmering, then pour over the chocolate and mix until melted and smooth. Transfer the melted chocolate to a piping bag to make drips. Carefully squeeze the chocolate mixture around the top edge of the cake to create a drip effect. Pour the remaining chocolate mixture on the top of the cake and use an offset spatula to spread the chocolate to the edges of the cake. To create frosting rosettes, transfer the remaining frosting to a piping bag fitted with a coupler attachment and tip T5. Pipe rosettes along the top edge of the cake. Top each rosette with a whole strawberry. 
This fruity chocolate cake would make a fabulous Valentine's Day treat or birthday cake for a chocolate lover. We hope you enjoyed learning a few more advanced decorating techniques. For more baking advice and lifestyle inspiration, follow KuTech on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.